welcome to another edition of Anigai. So I'm back and in a different position because I'm a little tired of standing and I thought um, a change of scene would be good. Um, so I have done a lot of reviews for Skinksware uh, and MyPantShop.com that retails Skinksware in the past because it's one of my uh, favorite brands. So I've done loads of super sexy vids. So I'm going to put all those links down there and I hope you guys have bought uh, some of them for yourself. Um, and now I know there have been a lot of requests for me to do more transparent, more mesh undies and thongs and jock straps. So skinks wear have, um, have listened uh, to you as well and they've sent me some thongs to review. So it's from a new range um, uh, because they don't have thongs on their site as yet. Um, they're soon to be launched and they're within their Senza and Extremo brands which are awesome. Uh, and uh, yeah, so you're going to get a special exclusive preview of uh, these tongs even before they're up on the website. So, um, we know that tongs were originally designed for men. Um, so it goes back ages um, and it, uh, it originates from the loincloth which was basically meant to protect male genitalia. And um, evidence of um, tongs in some form or another uh, uh, exists in various ancient cultures in um, ancient Egypt, in Africa, in Greece and uh, Rome as well as um, in Japan. Uh, so you know like the sumo wrestlers they still wear them even today so that's the version of the thong. So uh, most um, sources uh, do recognize that apparently um, uh, the thong was actually really introduced in 1939 when a mayor of New York uh, decided that um, the dancers, the, exo uh, the exotic dancers in um, the Mardi Gras parades should cover up a little bit more because apparently they used to uh, dance naked in the streets uh, so he wanted them to cover up a little more um, but um, uh, in 1974, there was um, um, a designer called Rudy Gernreich who apparently perfected the modern day thong. And um, these thongs actually only came to America in a big way in the 1990s and um, apparently uh, they were transported from Brazil where the dancers in Brazil obviously with their very very hot bodies showcasing their immense physiques only wore thongs and that's how thongs came to America. But of course we all know that um, uh, Americans don't really wear a lot of thongs, uh, definitely not to the beaches, it's much more of a European thing. Um, but yeah, so I just thought I'd give you a little bit of history uh, to thongs. And now, I guess I'll show you some skinkswear thongs. Alright, so uh, what I have on right now are skinkswear's Senza uh, thongs. Um, and I'm just going to be wobbling a bit because I'm on my mattress um, and as you can see these are thongs and they are extremely sexy um, their Senza line is made of this super super slinky soft and sexy material which I have loved in other uh, reviews that I have done for Senza underwear um, uh, they uh, have briefs and then they have the tanga styles and the, the uh, boxer brief styles as well so I've done loads of reviews for um, those as well so please check those out and um, let me give you a closer look at these. Here they are I've gotten off the bed because it was a little too wobbly um, but this gives you a better idea. These are the Senza thongs in a color called limestone. So they're this gray color, they're a little translucent um, and if you take a closer look uh, you can see how thin the material is. In fact um, if you've got pubic hair there they're just gonna start poking through because it's just ultra thin. It's made of 83% nylon microfiber with 17% elastane in there and um, obviously the 
that's a thong and it's got this little tiny little V at the top so it's not really um, a string and it's got um, a little band below so I'm going to show you that because they have another color as well I'm going to show you um, these in a white these are skinkswear um, thongs the Senza ones in a white which are also really really sexy um, just to give you a closer look of how the thongs are um, there you can see it's this translucent material um, they have the skin swear logo there and a contrasting orange color for these gray limestone ones and um, on the white ones they're in a blue um, and yeah so I can show you so it's not really a string on the underside it is it is that very same translucent soft nylon microfiber material with elastane so it's stretchy um, and it uh, will not sort of dig into you uh, it is really really super soft and come all right so the next uh, ones that I'm trying on are from Skinkswear's Extremo uh, range um, and uh, the uh, the blend of the material is a little different in this range which is what makes it feel a little bit different um, so they they still feel super soft they're not as translucent as the Senza's uh, but they are just as comfortable and uh, these are in a color called the Directoire Blue which is one of my favorite colors and as you can see um, the the thong design is different here uh, from the Senza design and I really really think it's sexy so let me give you a closer look. Okay, so that's me in the down position and um, all the material uh, is just here in this little triangular uh, pouch um, and the rest of it uh, well as you can see that's what what it's composed of. Apart from that, it has this wonderful uh, waistband over here, which is really, really comfy, and it has the bold Skinkswear logo in it um, with this silver strip that makes it look really, really sleek and nice. Right, so these Extremos have 85% nylon and a 15% elastane, so it makes it nice and stretchy and if you just touch it it just feels like smooth as silk um, so let's get to the back now and those two um, straps the strings over there um, on the extreme thong are to give it a minimalist sexy look um, so uh, yeah so rather than just have one string going up there they have two which is kind of nice because it doesn't sort of sort of bother you or irritate you the strings actually come up from down there and, and sort of veer off um, to either side so it gives it a very nice V uh, shape um, accentuating the curve um, of your posterior and I'm just going to give you uh, a better look at what that string is so this is another pair that I'm going to try on for you it's a vibrant orange and so here you actually do have a string but the string is very elastic so it's not going to sort of cut into you or make you feel very um, irritated during the day um, if you're wearing these um, you know especially in hot climates and you know if you're wearing them with jeans um, and there you have the two strings on either side which are also very elasticy. So these are the vibrant orange extremo thongs um, and yeah as you can see they're a very very uh, bright color uh, but I like them they're very playful uh, I like the fact that it's reflected here in uh, the waistband as well with an orange and silver motif um, it's uh, really really cool um, so let me give you a closer look alright so same material uh, same look that's me in the up position and um, that's me in the down position so as you can see the, the material is very very stretchy so you're gonna feel really really comfortable uh, even if you put it in that down position um, you're not gonna feel squished into it uh, and yeah I just 
I just love these this this V string at the back. What what do you guys think about it? Do you think it's sexy? Um, I think it looks really really cool and unique. As you guys know, um, I have gotten all of Skinswear uh, underwear from mypantshop.com, uh, which is uh, basically the uh, the main seller for Skinswear. So um, these are not up on the site as yet, but they are going to be there uh, for the holiday season before Christmas time. So in a month's time, they're going to be up. So you need to keep checking that website. You can still go to mypantshop.com. Uh, and check out their wonderful Senza Extreme All Lines as well as the other ones um, which I have done reviews for so I'm going to put the links down there I can't uh, tell you about each and every single one because I've done quite a few so you guys need to check out my other reviews um, the super fantastic one I did for erogenous.com uh, Stardom Underwear uh, as well um, a relatively newer brand um, I've done another one for obviously which also had um, a, a jock strap in there uh, so check out that one as well as a new one that I'm going to be putting up after this uh, review for Aussie Bum uh, for uh, quite a few that I have bought from Aussie Bum over the last year um, so yeah so lots of stuff and um, not to mention that king style underwear check out that video I've done one for them already and they have expressed interest in me doing another one for their Christmas sale uh, season so they're sending me a couple of more uh, to review uh, for you guys uh, so that will be up at some point of time uh, just around Christmas I guess so before that uh, for their sale and uh, yeah so holiday time coming and um, I really hope that all of you guys have a good peaceful holiday time and it would be really cool if some of my fans um, wrote in to me and uh, you know told me what they liked during the year uh, please don't ask me for naked pictures uh, unless I know you really well I'm probably not going to do that and I'm, if I'm interested in in sort of taking taking things a little further with you uh, I would really appreciate it if my fans did something nice uh, for Christmas and the holiday season um, if you do a good deed like sort of donate some money to an animal shelter or feed homeless people um, you know send me pictures of you and you know some proof uh, like um, an invoice or a receipt and, and and just a story about what you've done and I'd be happy to send you um, a pair of underwear um, obviously a limited amount uh, uh, just for that good deed and because I appreciate people who do uh, who do good things because at the end of the day uh, you know what makes you a man is not inside these undies guys it's it's in here and in here um, so just be caring and I would really appreciate it if more guys out there were looking for relationships and dating because after a while the meaningless hookups just get more meaningless and empty and a time will come when you will realize that it will not be enough it will just not be enough so I don't know why there is such a lack of hope and and patience nowadays uh, it's just become you know endemic relationships everywhere are just falling apart uh, and I don't know it's it makes one lose hope I, I hope that I do find somebody at some point of time and um, yeah so I hope you guys will have a good holiday season peaceful calm and goodwill don't just say that do that um, and I will see you again soon in another review maybe this year definitely this year for King Style underwear and uh, maybe I'll do a roundup of the year's underwear as well so continue to send me those messages please don't be too pushy um, I will end up blocking you if you are too pushy and I'm not replying to you there is a reason for that um, just be kind courteous and respectful um, and yeah so I'll see you next time guys, be sexy.